I think probably one of the most interesting is the challenges that organisations are facing around securing SCADA. There was a lot of conversation around the fact that in legacy terms SCADA has been an electromechanical system. It's now becoming a sort of digital network system. There was a lot of conversation about stakeholder management effectively, organisational change management, helping people who've got a sort of engineering and electromechanical background get into thinking about securing what is now an electronic system. So that was quite an interesting insight, I thought. I think there was a lot of, um, Victoria, a lot of, a lot of dwelling on uh, best practice. So I think there's a lot of um, consensus around uh, deploying something like 27,000 series standards, which obviously is, has its genesis in British thinking with the British 7799 standard. So I think that there's, there's really three pieces that I draw up, you know, conceptually keep it simple, you know, get, get focused on what you want to achieve, uh, prioritise what you want to achieve. Number one, maybe a bit dull, but it's, uh, it's patching, you know, get your patching right, really work on maintaining your digital system so that the appropriate software patches are, are applied because a lot of attacks come in through weaknesses because of lack of patching. Number two, train your people. A good security awareness program really helps people to engage with the subject matter, get motivated about it, understand the importance of securing IT systems and, and, and information. And then finally, digital situational awareness. You know, it, if you can become more aware of what's hitting you in real time, it makes you more responsive, more reactive. And so key technologies like antivirus really help. Another technology, Security Information and Event Management, SIEM, really helps you to be aware of your estate, what's going on in your estate in real time.